Hello and good afternoon everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon of video update for Friday, March 18th. We got a lot to get to, so let's dive in. Tonight we're looking at cool, dry, pleasant conditions and a warmer day Saturday with abundant sunshine and brisk winds under a blanket of high pressure. That ridge pattern, though, will quickly shift eastward Saturday night and early Sunday as our long advertised trough and cold front finally starts to enter the picture. We're looking at snow to develop after midnight Saturday, spreading eastward throughout the day from the far western mountains and valleys. We're going to take a look at two updated scenarios on how this storm might pan out. Still a lot of waffling back and forth and some fuzzy finer details. But we'll take a look at what could transpire with those two scenarios early next week. First things first, tonight we're looking at evening snow showers in the far northwestern mountains and valleys ending with dry conditions statewide and light to breezy winds. Not much else to talk about Saturday either. Dry through late evening, light to brisk winds. Higher gusts possible in the wind-prone sections of I-80 and 25, and the developing snow showers overnight, most notably after midnight, in the far western mountains and valleys. During the day on Sunday, the snow potential will spread eastward, and we could see bands of moderate snow affect the northern and northwestern mountains and valleys. Teton Pass here, Togany Pass, and South Pass could see bands of moderate snow through the afternoon and early evening, leading to about... Three to five inches of new snow, but not all of it's going to stick to the roadways. But it will be enough to make for some wet, slushy conditions during the day Sunday, leading to scattered slick areas overnight. We'll take a closer look at the actual travel forecast and impacts later on. For the uh, plains of southwestern Wyoming, daytime and evening snow showers, primarily during the late morning and early evening hours, with light amounts of a trace to two inches possible. That's not expected to stick to the roads, but will make things scatter slick, especially into the overnight. Should still be smooth sailing along and east of the Red Hatch line here through about mid-afternoon. Late day, we'll finally get some light rain showers to develop in the east, with a mix of rain and snow changing to all snow overnight Sunday and early Monday. Again, looking at light amounts of trace to two inches, with some slightly higher amounts along higher elevations of I-80 and I-25. Forecast of travel impacts, nothing on Saturday. Sunday, wet, slush, and slick roads over the mountain passes in the west and northwest could also see that over Powder River Pass along the Bighorns. In the Bighorn Basin and southwestern plains and valleys, going to see wet to potentially slushy roads uh, during the day Sunday as the snow falls, leading to scattered slick areas and black ice in the evening and overnight. For northeastern Wyoming, along and surrounding Interstate 90, dry conditions through about mid-afternoon, then wet to scattered slick areas Sunday night into early Monday. That should predominantly be the case for the southeastern part of the state as well, but we may have to pay a little special attention to I-25 between uh, Douglas and Casper and Interstate 80, Elk Mountain and Arlington, and perhaps the summit as well. If we get some bands of heavier snow to develop earlier than anticipated, could see more moderate road impacts into early Monday. Now, let's take a look at Monday and our potential trough. This is an updated upper-level jet stream map according to the European model as of noon on Monday. We still have our fairly well-defined trough over the Rockies and High Plains. The European model still wants to put it in two different spots, a more progressive trough over northern Wyoming, North Dakota, and Montana with a concentrated area of low pressure in the far south from Arizona into New Mexico. The European model wants it to take a slightly more easterly course and lose some of its punch as it makes its way into the plains. If this scenario is the one that pans out or something fairly close, it is going to have a greater impact on what's going to happen over the state, could lead to far lesser snowfall amounts than what we were projecting even just a couple of days ago. The 48-hour snowfall map, uh, the forecasted map, according to the European model, from Sunday morning to Tuesday morning. Most of this will occur during the day on Sunday and primarily be confined to some of the higher elevations of Wyoming. This is one scenario with light snow amounts during the day over the east, combining with some gusty north winds. That could lead to some downsloping in the far southeast, but the snow that does fall will lead to areas of blowing snow as well. So even though it doesn't look like much, still could lead to some more moderate road impacts during the day on Monday for travelers, stock growers, and those venturing outdoors. This again is one scenario 
Another scenario is the American GFS model, which has kept things a little more concentrated and a little more bullish as far as the uh, storm track and evolution. Again, as of midday Monday, concentrated area of low pressure in the similar spot near New Mexico, headed towards the te Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. During the afternoon and evening, it forecasts it to take a more northeasterly course. If this is the scenario or something similar that comes to fruition, could still lead to a deep upslope around the northern fringe of that storm, impacting eastern and southeastern areas of Wyoming a lot more. If this is the solution, could lead to bands of moderate and heavy snow, most notably impacting I-80 from east of Rollins through Laramie and Cheyenne heading into Nebraska, I-25 from Colorado through Cheyenne northward to Douglas and Casper. This is the snowfall that would occur on Monday with the snowfall over the western and northern mountains during the day on Sunday. Again, if this is the scenario, could lead to much more widespread road conditions and road impacts, also those venturing outdoors and those uh, stock growers across Wyoming. Stay tuned throughout the weekend for the latest forecasts and be ready for some changing weather conditions. Until then, have yourself a great Friday and weekend, and we'll talk to you later.